Hola mi gente, my name is Xiomara. What's going on everybody? My name is Sienna Jeffries and welcome to LIU TV's first episode of Yay or Nah <laughs> Halloween Edition. <laughs> Okay, so let's explain how the show goes. Basically, we're gonna go through four movies. Thank you. <laughs> we'll provide the synopsis. And we'll show you the trailers. And then we'll decide if you guys should go see it or not. Mm -hmm. If we think you guys should see it, we'll be like, yay! <laughs> and if not, it's a or not. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into it. Alright, starting off first, we have Ouija. 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 Remember when you were little and you guys had to try to like pretend you were scared to see if the ghosts were in your house and you yes. get a little bored and you're like, oh my god, it's swelling out. No, stop moving it. Why are you moving it? And here it is. Directed by Styles White, starring Olivia Cook and Anna Cole. A group of friends must confront their most terrifying fears when they awaken the dark powers of an ancient spirit board. You ever feel like even after someone you love has died, there's still a way you can talk to them? You want to talk to Debbie? Yeah. we've gathered, hearts are true, spirits near, we call to you. If you can hear us, Debbie, I miss you. Calm down. It's an old house. This is a joke. <gasps> Come on, you guys, who's doing that? Sarah, cut it out. I'm not pushing it. Just spelled hi, friend. Hey, this is freaking me out. I'm done with this. on the board in her house. She woke something up. Is somebody there? This thing is haunting us. Hello? It's coming through all of us. So who's next? How do we stop this? You have to break the connection or it will keep coming for you. We have to play the game again. One last time. Friends we've gathered, hearts are true. Spirits here, we call to you. Can you show us a sign? should have went out with her friends. That's all I was saying. I don't know why she stayed home by herself. I'm just trying to figure out why they're always targeting us young adults. Like, we always the stars of these scary movies. Mm -hmm. It's like, we the only vulnerable ones. Did you see, though? Oh. She was looking in the mirror and she's like... <laughs> right? Like, you know, she, she, she like, had to shut her ass up. Oh, she then, had to shut her ass up. I know a few people who probably want to shut me up, though. I, see, I, I liked it, but I also kind of thought it was going to be a little... It might be a little corny. I mean, it's a lot of music. It's a lot of games. And I just kind of feel like... Is it like a little Disney Channel, like rated R thing? <laughs> I mean, from my memory, I haven't seen like something about a board game, like a scary board game. We had Jumanji. I, I say yay. I'll say yay. Wait, how are you going to ask me? You was taking long. I'm right, taking forever. Like I'll, her say, go I'll say yay. Just because, you know, it's about Ouija. I do have something, a fear against spirits, you to tell you the everything. truth. I have a fear against spirits, so I'm going to say yay because I'll probably be a little bit scared. Yay, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna give it like a three out of his head, yay. I need something that's gonna get to me, like, you know, like, boom. Okay, <laughs> all right then. Next movie. 
Okay, so for all you guys who want something really scary, the next movie we're gonna talk about is Annabelle. Now personally, I think Annabelle's already gonna be scary just because anytime there's a scary movie with somebody's name in it, I'm afraid. X, Emily Rose, Carrie. Don't forget Chucky, Doll. Doll, Annabelle Doll. I feel like they just you know, they had to make a girl because Chucky was hit. Let's get into it. Oh, oh <laughs> Annabelle is Chucky's grandma. Let's just say that. <laughs> Directed by John R. Leonetti, starring Ward Horton and Annabelle Wallace, a couple begins to experience terrifying supernatural occurrences involving adventures doll shortly after their home is invaded by satanic cultists. Go! I like your dolls. You survived. You don't come out the other side of something like this weaker. What is there left to be scared of? This is the last of them. How did that get in there? I swear I threw it out. Things must have got mixed up. There, she fits right in. is a ghost. Sometimes demons can attach themselves to objects. What do I do? Protect your family. is in theaters now. <laughs> ah, it had me at hello until that, ah, I think I could see the stunt double running next, that was so <laughs> not okay. I think that would be a good one, but that ending though, that ending was alright. <laughs> it, ah. it looked like they had bad makeup over her face. Like, the other thing that got me too is how they tried to make it scary when they had the, um, the baby like lullaby music as she's doing all this crazy yeah. stuff. Who would keep a doll like that in your house? What's oh, scary? It looks like <laughs> so it's just in there. <laughs> I mean, I've always had a fear, not fear of dolls. Here I go again with my fear. But all I all I know is if a spirit goes into a doll, that's it. I'm out. I'm out of the house. If they had history with it. Why is it in the house in the first place? And yeah, let's go on to the next. Actually, what do you think, Annabelle? Let's do a verdict. 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 I'm actually gonna say yay, and I'm gonna hope that I'm right about that. It's a remix of Chucky, and, and every Chucky was a classic. I can't say it wasn't, so I'm gonna say yay. I say or not. The Chucky legacy has oh, been wow. done. They pulled that as long as they could. Now they're starting with Annabelle, and eh, I don't think it's gonna go. All right. All right, guys, so excuse the change in scenery, but we found out that Sue is afraid of the exorcist. Hmm. So we decided to come in here instead and watch it on the screens as we speak to you and continue our show. What a great idea! Can't even say the word I'm thinking right now. I'm not gonna look that way. I'm just gonna move on. Mm -hmm. We were at Dracula Untold. Hey. We went from dolls to vampires. Hey. So take a look. Directed by Gary Shore, starring Luke Evans and Dominic Cooper. Facing threats to his kingdom and his family, Vlad Zepej looks to make a deal with dangerous supernatural forces without succumbing to the darkness himself. The world doesn't need another hero. Sometimes what it needs is a monster. My prince, 
Oh, I've missed you. Something troubles you. The Sultan is preparing for battle. It requires 1,000 boys for his army, including your son. Run to your mother. Look away! You can't protect us. I'll find a way. I have been waiting an eternity for a man of your strength to arrive. Welcome to your life. What is it you are seeking? I want the power to destroy my enemies and save my family. There's no turning back. Drink, Dracula. Welcome to your life. What's happening to you? I'm the thing men fear. Not a ghost. Something else. I see the devil inside him! Do you think you are alive because you can fight? You are alive because of what I did to save you! The world. Never forget who I am. Dracula Untold is in theaters now. Woo! Yes. Really? I, I'm, over so the vamp I'm over the vampire <laughs> thing. Like, we had a long vampire rave. Know, like, everything was vampire, vampire, vampire. I think vampire. this is the time. The whole Twilight series was, like, probably one of the last things that came out that had no, to do No, but you had the first one that's ending now, too, so... True Blood? True Blood, True yes. Blood. yes. yes. All right, yeah, I guess. There is so, an obsession, but I think that's always going to happen. I think that's ending. Happen. It's ending. It's, it's ending. last season. Oh, yeah. all right. So, it's time. It's time again. And I think that they had to bring it back in a more serious way, a more sexy way. PG rated. No, <laughs> I say yay. I say yay. I'm just trying to figure out why there's British actions, like, up in these types of... Go to your mother. <laughs> Run, son. Run. Run. Must know about the monster. Run from the monster. <laughs> but I don't know. I say yay just because. Of course like, you say yo. You, you're attracted to him. I mean, I kind of have a fan. I already, think every so. girl had that fantasy of getting, <laughs> like, you know, bitten by the vampires. I'm going with or nah. Or nah. I'm not saying I wouldn't. I'm not gonna see it when it comes mm -hmm. on DVD. Like I'll go check it out. Right. But I don't know if I'm gonna spend thirteen dollars or however much it might be on it. I just feel like it's a Lord of the Rings with bats. Like I don't know. I just. Right. It's not bad, but I don't know if I would go see it. So y'all decide. We'll move on because yeah, we have an issue one. with vampire. <laughs> let's go to the next one. The next movie we're going to discuss is The Devil's Hand. The Devil's Hand. The Devil's Hand. Another British I don't one, have man. The Hand. Another sure. British thing. What I love about the British accent is it doesn't matter what they say, it just sounds so eloquent. Two plus two, two is four. <laughs> it's like, tell me more. Oh. It is four. <laughs> Like it's so it's I'm it's just amazing. laughing the fact that everywhere they shoot, it's like if the whole world is filled with British people. That's I like fun. it though. This is actually one of my favorite ones. The Devil's mm -hmm. Hand. I think it's gonna be awesome. Um, you know, and, and it has a six 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 thing. I show don't mess with the devil. <laughs> Let's show the trailer. <laughs> Directed by Christian E. Christensen, starring Rufus Sewell and Alicia Devnan Carey. When young girls start to go I missing within a religious cult. Older followers fear a long-told prophecy while the younger members happen. suspect abusive elders and are killing them off. 25 minutes, what? My birthday's at midnight. <laughs> you have to kill me before it's too late. New Bethlehem is a beacon of light in the dark world. But I fear the danger New Bethlehem is now in. Your daughter's 18th birthday's approach. He speaks of the prophecy. Six girls born on the sixth day of the sixth month. We all know the evil before us. <laughs> Anna Smith has gone missing. 
here. I can feel his presence. When the six of you were born, the prophecy declared only one would remain. She would become the devil's hand. Abby and Hannah are dead. We have to stop it. The signs are clear. The prophecy is being fulfilled. Satan has been invited into New Bethlehem. <laughs> Devil's Hand is playing in theaters now. <laughs> that movie's so scary. I don't do I don't do devil stuff, man. That's yes, we made a mistake. We it was not in any way British. I, it was Amish, actually. I think we wanted it to be British. Devil's Hand. That's what we wanted, but it was like Devil's Hand. I mean, <laughs> you know what? I think it serves as a good movie just because. No, it's a great movie. Amish community. I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend nobody, but just saying that in those kind of communities where they're within themselves, they're kind of like afraid or suspicious about things that have to do with non-religious. Right. I guess. No, I was gonna say it. It, it kind of reminds me of what you know what happened with the Salem thing, the, with the witch trials, mm -hmm. um, mass Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's kind of what it reminds me of, and I I was always kind of into that because I kind of thought it was very fascinating that. Mm -hmm. People were literally prosecuting women just because they thought they were witches. We had to be the ones persecuted, as always. The verdict? Okay. Yeah, what's the verdict? Yes. Because I, um, like, I feel like yay. Yay! <laughs> wow! Alright. I mean, I'd, I'd go. I'd go. You know, no, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be scared, though, and not for nothing. If you born on the 6th, with six other people on 2006. And You're staying away from me. That's all I'm saying. We You're don't, staying away we don't from talk. Me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. That was a wrap. Wait, 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 wait. We have a surprise. Okay, so we right. provided another movie trailer that is not scary. It's it's not any way Halloween related because we do understand that certain people don't like Halloween yeah. movies and they don't celebrate it. So let's forget <laughs> that. So, see ya. <laughs> we have for you guys before I go to sleep. And, and, and let me say, you won't sleep. <laughs> before you go to sleep on us, just watch this real quick. Directed by Rowan Jofe. Starring Nicole Kidman and Colin Firth. A woman wakes up every day remembering nothing as a result of a traumatic accident in her past. One day, new terrifying truths emerge that force her to question everyone around her. It's all gone. Christine. Yes? It's Dr. Nash. You won't remember me. We've been doing some work on your memory. I'm not certain that Ben knows. Ten years ago, you were found on an industrial estate with repeated blows to the head. What? That's where I found you, naked, confused. Who tried to kill me? No one knows. No one but you. I want you to keep a visual diary. Tonight, as I sleep, my mind will erase everything that I know today. Who is she? Claire. Chrissy, darling, it's me. I remember you. After your affair, I just disappeared. Did Ben know? You hide my past from To protect me. you. From what? I wonder what's going to happen exciting today. Your imagination filling in the gaps in your memory. Maybe it's better I don't know. No. There must be days when you say, I can't go through this again. I love you, Chris. Sometimes when the truth is painful, I don't always have the strength. I want you to feel good. He says he's protecting you, but don't trust anyone. You want the truth? I'll tell you the truth. I'm scared. No. Stay away from my wife. Help me. This isn't just about you. No! Whatever happened that night, whatever I've done, I have to remember. Before
before I go to sleep is released October 31st. Yay! Hey! Love Nicole it. Nicole Kidman is back. She's back. <laughs> nah, that's gonna be an amazing movie. I can already talk. Like, it I'm, is. I mean, I'm just thinking of the concept, like, that's crazy. Like, you go to sleep, you forget everything about your life when you wake up. And like you said, like no, she's trying she's to figure been, out. Well, apparently, yeah, she's trying to figure out who killed her. So that's even more disturbing yeah, that crazy. you don't really remember that. That's but crazy. don't sleep. <laughs> but anyway, that concludes our first episode of Yay or Not. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back next month with another episode to bring you some comedy yes. and some great movie trailers for Just you guys for you. to watch. All right. <laughs> oh, social media. Yes, for sure. So make sure you follow us. Comment, tell us what you want to see. You're going to go to Twitter and Instagram. It's L I U T V B K. L I U T V B K. It'll be yeah. right down here. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can go to our YouTube, which is also L I U T V B K. So right. you won't forget it. And Facebook, last but not least, L I U T V B K. Or L I U T V Brooklyn. Yeah, L I U T V Brooklyn would probably yeah. be better for all of us. Just such it. So, so we're everywhere. Just find us. Yeah. We're here to stay. <laughs> so just friend us and we'll look to hear from you. Yes, and stay tuned for our, our you know our future segments that we'll have coming out. Have a happy October. My yes. name is Sienna. And I'm Siomara. Stay tuned. <laughs> You're watching LIE TV.